Hooper is your 2023 Arnold Strawman Classic Champion. The 2023 SBD World Strongest Man is Mitchell Hooper! Mitchell Hooper, also known as the Moose, was living and studying in Australia when he first started training for powerlifting and strongman. Growing up in Canada, the 27-year-old has a rich history of competitive sports, having played college football, golf to a high level, as well as running marathons and competing in bodybuilding, basketball, swimming and baseball. Mitch competed in some local strongman competitions and had qualified for the 2020 Amateur Arnolds, which would have been his first international competition, but unfortunately it was cancelled due to COVID. Mitch continued to train and in 2021 he entered Static Monsters, winning the competition with a 185 kilo log lift and a 485 kilo 18 inch axle deadlift. His impressive training videos and feats of strength caught the attention of strongman fans and promoters, and he was put on the reserve list for the 2022 World Strongest Man competition. And after Ryan O'Hainler pulled out of the competition, Mitch had four weeks to prepare for what would be the biggest performance of his strongman career so far. So late last night, I was contacted by the World Strongest Man team, and uh, I was told that I'm gonna be one of the 30 competitors uh, vying for the title of World's Strongest Man, so I'm uh, really, really excited for that. He ended up in Group 2 alongside the four-time champion Brian Shaw, Constantine Janasha, who at that point had never not made the final at Worlds, Bobby Thompson, who had just placed third at the Arnold Strongman Classic, Mark Felix and Gabe Pena. Hey everyone, uh, so I was put uh, in the group of death. Brian Shaw had won his group for 12 consecutive years and fans had no real reason to believe that a rookie was about to end that incredible streak. But after winning the first three events in the group and then tying for second on the fourth event, Mitch only needed to pick up the wrecking ball to earn one last point and secure his group win and place in the final. In the 10-man final against the best strongmen in the world, Mitch's inexperience on some of the strongman events was more evident, such as the truck pull, which he tried for the first time ever in the training yard. Still, Mitch placed eighth overall, and after such an impressive breakthrough performance, invitations to international shows started to come thick and fast. His next competition was the Giants Live Strongman Classic, and despite the disappointment on the max distance farmer's walk, he was otherwise consistent enough to take second place behind Alexei Novikov. One month later, in August 2022, Mitch competed at the Giants Live World Open, which also hosts the Deadlift World Championships. There he pulled a thousand pound deadlift, which was good enough for joint second on the event, but not the 505 kilos he'd been hoping for, and again he placed second in the overall competition, this time behind another Ukrainian athlete, Pavlo Nekonechny. Just seven days later, Mitch was competing at the Shaw Classic in Colorado, a 15-man competition across two days with eight heavy events. He placed top three in four of the events with an event win in the Super Yoke and once again found himself on an international podium, this time in third place behind Trey Mitchell and Brian Shaw. A month later, Mitch was back in Britain, this time competing at the Arnold's UK, another heavy competition which included a 500 kilo super yoke and 370 kilo deadlift for reps. Mitch put in a dominating performance, taking first in two events and second in the other four events, winning his first international title ahead of Alexei Novikov, who placed second. The following month, in October 2022, Mitch competed in the Giants Live World Tour Finals in Glasgow, and another incredibly consistent performance saw him on top of a podium for a second time. Two and a half weeks later, Mitch was in Austin, Texas for the 2022 Rogue Invitational, and he didn't have the best start to the competition, placing mid-pack on the deadlift and eighth on the sear dumbbell. He made up for it later, winning the Husafel sandbag carry and then absolutely destroying the competition on the yoke into the log medley. A second place finish on the Inverstones secured his place on another podium and he finished third in his last competition of 2022. 
In January 2023, Mitch travelled to Australia to compete in Australia's Strongest International. Mitch won the first four events and only had to lift the opening weight in the final event, the Max Atlas Stone Overbar, to secure victory and his third international competition win. In March 2023, Mitch would compete in his first Arnold Strongman Classic in Columbus, Ohio, with a lineup that included the reigning two time World Strongest Man Tom Stoltman, the two time winner of the Shaw Classic Trey Mitchell, who up until that point Mitch had never beaten in competition, and to the delight of Strongman fans, this would be the comeback competition of Polish superstar Mateusz Kieliszkowski. Mitch placed second or third in every single event, and despite not winning an event, it was enough to see him take first place, four points ahead of second place finisher Mateusz Kieliszkowski. As the athlete's announcements started to come through for the 2023 World Strongest Man competition, Strongman fans were excited to see one of the best looking lineups in the competition history. Brian Shaw was looking for his fifth and final win at his last World Strongest Man appearance, Tom Stoltman was looking to make it three title wins in a row, and Alexei Novikov, the 2020 champion, was looking to take the title back to Ukraine. Mitch faced another tough group, this time against Mateusz Kieliszkowski, who had just placed second at the Arnolds, Ivar Schmaukstelis, who has 20 international competition wins under his belt, Spencer Remick, who won the 2022 official Strongman Games, and the two powerhouses, Matt Rag and Graham Hicks. Mitch won the first four events in the group stages, and although he didn't need to do the final event, the kettlebell toss, he wanted to try for a full house, but placed second in the event behind Kieliszkowski. It was one of the most dominant group performances in World Strongest Man history, and Mitch Hooper sailed through to the final. The first event in the final was the shield carry for max distance, and Mitch showed his grit and determination by crab walking the final few meters of the course to get ahead of Tom Stoltman, which ultimately would result in an event win. Mitch then went on to win the deadlift for reps and play sixth in the Fingal's Fingers, where just one and a half seconds separated four athletes. On day two of the competition, Mitch tied for first on the max dumbbell with a 140 kilo lift, won the bus pull, and then only needed to play sixth or higher in the Atlas Stones to win the competition. Mitch Hooper and Tom Stoltman were the fifth and final pairing, and Mitch was one of just three men able to lift the final stone, placing second to Tom Stoltman in the event, but securing the victory and the title, the World's Strongest Man. This was just 11 months after the World's Strongest Man 2022, which was his first international competition, and in that time, he's racked up nine international podiums and five competition wins, including the two biggest titles in the sport, the Arnold Strongman Classic and the World's Strongest Man. Brian Shaw's final appearance at the Worlds marked a real changing of the guards. Will Mitch Hooper and Tom Stoltman be the new big rivalry in the sport? Can Mitch continue to dominate as he has in his first full year in Strongman? One thing's for certain, and that is Mitch Hooper has had the most successful debut year in strongman history.